Devin Steiner here with the men's basketball team, fresh off their 84-70 victory over Mary Grove College. The team's now 5-2 and two on the year, 2-1 and one in conference. Uh, on the left, I have Nick Gamble. In the middle, head coach Burt Paddock. On the right, freshman Robbie Bramhill. Coach Paddock, can you just give us some general thoughts of the game? Well, I'm proud of our guys. They go on the road in conference and we score 84 points. I think that's a really good sign. We're, we're playing really well offensively. I think that tonight we shared the ball incredibly well. We had 22 assists in the game. I don't know if that's a, a school record. I think it's a season high for sure. And I just thought that uh, it was many guys making the extra pass. When you do that, you make a lot of shots. And tonight we did that. Nick Gamble, you had 10 points, 8 assists, 4 rebounds, 3 steals. I don't know if there's any other categories that you can fill, man. You did it all tonight. Talk about how you felt today in the first half and the second half? Um, I felt good. I think um, once we got into a rhythm, it was uh, up to me to get guys involved. Uh, once Kevin and Javon and uh, Robbie and those guys started making shots, it was my job to make sure it uh, continued to be easy for them. Robbie, you were 5 of 8 from 3, had 21 points, 8 rebounds. 4 of 4 from 3 at, in the second half. You were 1 of 4 in the first half. What changed from that first half to the second half that got you going? Um, first half I felt like I was kind of forcing things but uh, the second half I told myself to just do the little things right like rebound and box hit my man and play defense and the rest just took care of itself. Nick got me the ball on offense. And, oh. yeah. Coach in the second half it seemed like you guys shared the ball really well. You guys were hitting the open person even even if they didn't make the shot you were taking the right shot. Talk about that. Well, I think it's a product of where it started with and our point guard getting us into our stuff and playing really fast but playing under control and we didn't turn it over and uh, as I said before we actually shared the ball so much we got a couple three second calls because we made too many passes but uh, I think that's a sign of a really good basketball team on the offensive end and really proud of our guys I know all the guys in the locker room are excited everybody was touching it and feeling good about themselves hopefully that'll come carry over to the to the uh, I'm sorry the Thanksgiving tournament that we have coming this weekend so we'll have to play well uh, especially with a really really good Dort team coming in on Saturday uh, afternoon. Coach, is it safe to say that Kevin Rich and Robbie Bramhill are the Panthers' version of the Splash Brothers? Sure. <laughs> I guess you can say that. They had a really good game today, but I, I'll say this, too. They were wide open on those shots. Javon and especially Nick made so many incredible plays, getting to the paint, dragging their men in, and throwing it to them. They were really playing a game of pig and horse. I know I would, I would take those two guys against anybody, but it, I think they were a product of our guards creating shots for them. As you said, Nick had eight assists tonight. I don't know if it's a career high. It's got to be close. Um, but if we continue to go along the season, I think if he keeps making their lives easy like that, they'll make a lot of shots, and then it'll make it just that much easier on our team as we go along. You mentioned it real quick, but we got Great Lakes Christian coming up on Friday and Dort on Saturday. What's you guys' game plan kind of over practice the next couple of days? What are you doing to mentally prepare for those two games kind of during a, during a break for most people? You know, I have to challenge our guys. We talked about this a little bit before the game today, that over these holiday breaks, whether it be Christmas, Thanksgiving, whatever it is, the really great teams, the teams that really accomplish great things, go to the national tournament, those types of things are, are teams that can really focus during these times. Uh, we talked about football and baseball, how those sports, they're not year-round. They go home and they celebrate with their families and all that stuff. A lot of our kids are going home to celebrate, but it'll just be a little bit shorter period of time, and then they'll come back and we'll be with our basketball family. And I think that these guys have goals set for themselves. Of, you know, not winning a couple conference games on the road, we feel good about that. But the big picture is to, to compete for a conference championship, put another sign up in the, in the, in the gym, uh, and get back to Branson for another chance to dance come March. All right. Thanks, guys.